So I, I like Cole's draft. Um, they've also got no field against the Rubik. Both of their supports are not going to tie to clockwork because either one of them can lift and throw the clockwork out of the cogs, and the other one can just fly over the cogs. So I think clock's actually going to have a really tough game, and there's blink strike from PA. Like, the only people that that clock can actually kill is, like, Slardar, maybe Magnus. Like, it's, it's a pretty good draft from Cole's side, but EG does have tons of push, tons of end the game at 25 minute ags for right. everybody stuff. So yep. yeah, there's good things about both sides. Crit going to be found by Z Freak. Won't go for the lift. His team was nearby, not close enough. And Crit will get down a couple of good wards here. One of the entries to the jungle, one towards the pull camp, which is in fact blocking it at this point in time. So complexity will have to de ward or just deal with it. They'll, I think, give a sentry away to Swindles. They have two of them on them now. But how important is it to get off to a fast start here for EG in order to take this laning phase over? I mean, I, I don't know if they need for it to go that amazing because they have such a good five man. I mean, it mm -hmm. does heavily come down to Sumail in some ways because if he gets ahead and is able to buy a couple um, eggs for people, then obviously the game becomes better and better and better. Uh, one hero that I usually follow in games like these is going to be Venomancer because Veno is a hero that has trouble killing other heroes, but he has a really good ability to farm. So if he can just kind of stay alive and continue to um, collect items, it gets really scary. And the biggest thing in this game so far, both centers Miss yeah, I was just gonna say that's yeah. huge. Two hundred gold down the drain. That is unfortunate. I mean, and the issue is that they also tried dewarding before the first spawn, so now they didn't even know for sure that the pull camp was blocked. Well, they're gonna they know soon. They would have been able to deward at least one of these for sure, and they missed both. So it's gonna cost them two hundred gold to, to collect on that. So the universe. Yeah, I mean, that's huge. He's going to have plenty of room to work with here. The universe clockwork coming out, the old staple. Haven't seen much clock lately, except for what the the, the panel was talking about, the four position. Uh, haven't seen too much in the three position. Uh, there's better off lanes usually, but we'll see how universe plays up in this dual lane, actually. Uh, he's going to get some help with crit. It's going to be Justin down bottom with the Phantom Assassin, and then Swindles will help him out. Swindles seems to know where the, the ward is placed now. I think he has a good understanding of it. Camp is blocked. Yeah, it's a pretty bad dual lane for him, though. Getting if he gets a double hit in here, that'd be good. He's only going to get one. Oh, he gets him. Okay. Uh, nice. He hits both with the Arctic Burn at least, so he gets some nuke in, but now he's useless for 40. Ooh, the Kodic push. Not that much mana drain, but the PA does have a mango. Keep our eyes peeled on this matchup. Canceled, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sumail. Taking a lot of damage from this acid spray. He's getting blocked by the creeps. He's actually taking a lot of hits. He still has a fairy fire if need be, so he's fine. Top lane, Moo. There's the Gale. He's in trouble. The Slytherin Crush. Nice stun. Coming out with that Telekinesis from Z-Freak. But it looks like Moo should still fall to this first blood and will. As I will get the job done. There's too many slows. And Moo is just useless at this point in the beginning of the game. Yeah, that's pretty tough in this dual lane. I mean, Gale's fantastic for slow. And if he even levels it up, it's going to do massive amounts of damage. Um, probably will max Plague Ward, though, just because it's so good for farming. And just, all the lanes look amazing for EG at the moment, especially because of the blocks in the bot lane. Yeah, that actually got them into a better spot than you'd think. My analyst panel is actually going insane. They're just giggling over there like schoolgirls. I can't handle this. Nothing, nothing weird there. Nothing weird. Illuminate, Swindles, getting caught, Battery Salt, and Justin will try to take the damage as well as the stuns, and he'll do a nice job of it. Try to eat his way through or chew his way through these cogs, and we'll do a nice job as well. Universe not able to get the kill. This is not really much kill potential, I feel like, here between Illuminate and cogs at level 1. Nope player either. I mean, EG's just owning all of their lanes. Sumail's getting far more last hits than Cancel is on the mid lane. He was completely outlaning him, trading really effectively. Um, the off lane's going great for Universe and Crit. The safe lane, they already got a kill. I think EG is just wrecking this game right now. Yeah, this is a terrific start. The fact that the, the, the pole camps have been blocked down bottom for two minutes is pretty significant. At least a minute and a half. Well, they got the other award at least. Uh, yep. First 200 gold swindles flies out of sentry. And there isn't that much pressure. It's one of the only good things about this safe lane is that uh, their dueling isn't just going to out harass them. So swindles can get away with not having too much region here. But at some point he has to get levels for himself and maybe accelerate in some way. Because universe is getting pretty much everything he wants right now. This is going extraordinarily well. No kills just yet, except for the first blood, obviously, with a new going down in the top lane. But other than that, pretty quiet game so far, but still lots of farm going the way of the dire side. Um, Sumail having a great time. It's taking a lot of damage here. Doesn't have enough mana for a shockwave on the Magnus. It's low, but not low enough. Looks like Sumail will be fine. Maybe Sumail play safe. And Bottle Crowing coming too. I mean, I, I think this is, it all kind of comes down to the first couple engagements. Um, is everybody in EG going to be there in the fight? And they probably should, based on Crit having good levels. He can always pull Arteezy into the engagement. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, Arteezy is just going to be passively farming. Maybe the same case for Alchemist. A gank being set up mid, actually. 
Comes deep reap with a wrap around. He's, only level He's got one, the though. smoke coming out. TP. RP not there. He will go for the lift. They have the skewer back as well, pushing behind the tower. Two males slowed up. Oh, so the ring so crush smart. move. They have the living armor. It's finally gone now. It's just too much damage. Really well set up gang coming out from complexity to kill Sumail there. That was so fucking beautiful. The way that they did that, it was actually incredible. Lift from the back, throw in on the TP. The timing of everything there was perfect. The TP came, and uh, Sumail's like, well, that's the dumbest gank I've ever seen. But then the Rubik was there to throw him back into it and the skewer. Plus, they had living armor there, and he still got blown up. That was just amazingly executed. And now, finally, cancels ahead in terms of the last hits. Yep, he gets up to 22. He was struggling a little bit earlier. He didn't have Shockwave for a little while, but now he's got level 3 Shockwave. He's getting close to his RP as well, getting to level 6 soon. Uh, we'll see what he wants to get. Probably Arcanes along the way. I'm interested in itemization for Arteezy as Z Freak is probably dead here. He's going to take a Leech Seed as well as a... No, oh, good deny coming up. Really nicely done, actually, with the Poison Sting on him. He's able to just right-click him down, and they like, don't get that kill. That's huge. One of three abilities in the game that lets you deny your allies. Uh, someday may be removed, but at least not for now. Well, RTZ is pretty sad about that. That's just been an answer. That, that's huge. That'll give... Uh... Obviously, um, Deep Freak will lose his gold there. Moo could die here, Moo might be dead, so the ring crush, they're trying to juke it and at least both avoid it here. Moo might just fall. The deny from Z Freak, is it in time? Does he need it? Yes, <laughs> they get another one. He just waits and he just hits him. It's just like real casual. Z Freak still getting chased out. Another leech seed from Zai. He might die. He still has that wind lace. He's got a tango. That's not going to help him. Nobody's going to die him this time. They'll finally get a kill. They have to die past the tier 2 tower. Dear lord, that took forever. And OTZ ate the tree for the extra tango boost. That's just OP. He got two points in Gale as well. Just wanted more damage in his laning stage. Gale, honestly, one of the highest damage nukes right now. Um, I think at level two, I can't remember. I think it does like 600 magic damage with four points. So it does something like 300 with two skill points. It's That's pretty good. That's pretty good damage. Um, I do want to ask about RTZ and what he builds on a, a core Venomancer. What's the what's the build for a core Venomancer, do you think, in this game? Uh, Aquila um, for mana regen, infuse range drop as well. And then you go either Ags or Veil, and then um, get whichever one of those that you didn't buy the first time, and then so a just mobility standard item. Stuff. Just super standard. It's all about team fighting. It's all about doing tons of magic damage in a team fight, um, and just passively farming in the meantime with Fight World to those items. Cancel and Z Freak moving up to the top lane again. Cancel does have his level 6 now. Alchemist, it looks like he's been farming the jungle with Acid Spray. Trying to get to his Midas currently. And uh, looking for that top no, no, rune. This might be trouble. To... I think he might have seen Cancel and he backed away. He know... I think he saw the, the, war... the rune wasn't there and he just said, I I'm not dealing with that. But You, you said Midas, but I'm sure you meant Armlet. Like, oh yeah, sorry. Every every Elk obviously builds Armlet. Um... Wait, there. He does get ganked again, though. Yeah, he's not going to have his armlet. It looks like he does get off his chemical rage. Actually, six, they though. might be able to keep him alive here with the chemical rage of living armor as well. He just took no damage from any of that. They, they had to have uh, Sardar be level 6 for that to work. There's like no way otherwise. Or maybe they catch him before he pops his ulti and they perfect in stun, but the gank was not going to work. That one wasn't very, very well. So he's Wyvern still is... doing really well with CS. Yeah, he's still doing it. Just caught up uh, ahead of Magnus again. Um, Windows is doing pretty well, at least uh, level three, almost level four now. I won't say I should maybe shouldn't say well, but he's doing past. At least yeah. the benefit of this lane, um, they're just That's they're good against everything. Passable. Hard for clock to get kills. All right, Z Freak and Cancel will rotate mid. Actually, have some really good levels from this dual lane off lane. Level five for both the Keeper Light as well as the Clockwork. He's gonna have Hookshot pretty soon. He's gonna blow up the, the pole at this point. Swindles is just, he's trying to do what he can, but Universe is trying to chase after him. Battery sold almost there. He could have gotten him with the cogs that even been a little bit faster, not gotten Arctic burned. Zeke finally rotate again. I don't know if they can really do anything here with Justin. Yeah. I, They're not gonna Swindles catch anybody. Should have kept vision a little bit, because if they got a dagger on the clock there. Z-Freak would have rotated in in time, and well, this is decent. They will get the dagger. Now they're going to go with the Phantom Strike on the universe. Battery Salt will go into the Living Armor. This is going to take a lot of work, but they will inevitably bring him down. It looks like one more right click. The TP will not go. So a waste of 50 gold as well as the TP time, and they will bring him down finally. All right, safe lane's going pretty well for Cole now. I really like that, that kill there. That was huge. Freak's still pretty under leveled. That's maybe the beginning of losing, but I'm pretty confident he'll be able to catch up. He's a good Arteezy. player. Arteezy. Cancel wrapped around the opposite direction, thinking Arteezy would drink, uh, juke through the tree line. He gets RP, skewer back as well. They have the living armor up as well. Arteezy doesn't have his poison, though, but it doesn't look like he really needs it. He's just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cancel. There's like four plague wards up. Arteezy doesn't give a damn. There's another hero TPing, and it's Z-Freak. He's in biz with a rune. And Arteezy's completely fine, and let's take the tier one tower. That was anticlimactic. 
I mean, Plague Wards do a massive amount of damage, especially to, to lane creeps, so he just has to kill the creep wave and pre-6, like, Cole's lineup doesn't have very good damage. The big nuker on the team is actually Winter Wyvern right now. That's where they're at. And because they did a dual offlane and Sardar got a little shut down, he's not even 6 yet. If they had ult, maybe they could have gotten that kill, but with living armor blocking minimum 5 right clicks, it's just too much damage block. And down bottom, complexity swindles. He's not 6 yet, as you mentioned. You need, they need that Winter's Curse. Justin's not doing any damage, even with the Blightstone and Phase Boots. And Universe is just pulling them out of lane with crit and the Illuminate's coming out. It's just a lot of damage. They might have to give up this tier one tower as Arteezy's rotated down there with level four Plague Wards. This will fall pretty quickly. Uh, it's really about killing the Creep Waves. It does kind of bad uh, building damage, but it kills the Creep Wave rapidly, and then it will transition into the Creeps and the, everything else killing the tower. Avail first. Play the cheaper build. Um, it's only like 2,500 gold and gives you HP regen and armor, which will be a nice offset to the Slardar. It's absolutely the right choice here. And if they can keep taking towers like this, EG is going to be in a commanding lead, especially with uh, Sumail just AFK farming in the meantime. Yep, 1,800 gold already up with his armlet, as we talked about previously. He's looking really strong. Uh, he's going to continue to farm with his assets, spray level 4 bounty, uh, excuse me, Grievel's Greed, and... They really can't kill him with living armor. I mean, if he gets his chemical rage off, which is what we saw earlier, I don't know if they can really bring him down unless they commit a lot of heroes to gank him. I mean, Very once, tough. One, once they get the empower up a bit and maybe and Justin gets a, a, his deso picked up or something, that's when they can start killing people. But really the big weakness in their draft is that they don't do much damage yet. Oh, that's Splinter Blast not doing much work. Universe coming it's, in with Hookshot ready, and they're just going to go for a push now. Kurt will take some damage. It's all the raindrops. That's really what happened. I mean, if anything, you look at that as value. If you spend 220 gold, how much did raindrop? 235? Hmm. Something. Uh, I need 225, to check. 225, 225. Okay, 225, there we go. Yeah. If, you, if, it, if that costs 225 gold and it has five charges, every time he breaks like three raindrops, he's actually doing pretty severe economic damage. He's the one that has to be here to stop these pushes. He has to counteract what Venno's doing. He has to clear the creep waves with Splinter Blast. And this is arguably Winter Wyvern's best skill in the early game, in my opinion, if you use it correctly. Because it's a seven second cooldown. It's very spammable. You just need mana, either Arcane Boots or Sol Ring. So it's entirely up to Swindles to not get ganked, to constantly counter push, and to make sure that EG doesn't get a massive tower advantage in the next 10 minutes. It's easier said than done, though. It's very a lot of easy uh, access points. EG are starting to get wards up as well. They have universe with the hook shots. So they can set up ganks. They have obviously the slows coming out with the leech seed as well as the the venomous gale. So they have everything going for EG at this point. We talked about how good their lane phase was. The alchemist at seven thousand net worth. There's already a seventy five hundred net worth advantage coming up for evil geniuses, which is gigantic at eleven minutes in this game. A lot of that is coming yeah. from the Alk, obviously, but the cool. lane phase in general as well. Yeah, it's not just the Alk. It's absolutely the whole team is doing extremely well. Arteezy is sitting at 1 0 and 1. He's got a veil of Discord up. Um, he's actually still not grabbing his ultimate. I'm a little surprised about that one, but um, at some point he will. Maybe in the next few levels. He he's going to get it here, maybe? Uh, yeah, they have a Smoke of Deceit ready to go. Z Freak has lift. He's going to walk up. He'll find Arteezy. They have the Observer Ward. Smoke will break. No vision. He was up in the high ground when Rush. it broke, though. Medallion pick up on his eye is going to allow them to do it. reduce the armor by 3.5 with Arteezy hitting this and all of his wards. They will kill Roche eventually here. There is RP up, no blink dagger, obviously. Complexity, they I should know this is happening. I don't know if they can do anything about it. It looks like they're just backing away at this point, Purge. This looks all right for them. I mean, oh, they're using Chakra Magic on Venno to spam more. Interesting. It there are like a lot of wars in that road, Pitch, dear God. So they'll kill it eventually. It'll just take a little bit of time. But the core is that in the meantime, Universe is just getting levels mid. And this is kind of what he has to do, because really, he just can't kill anybody on the enemy team, because they all have, they're all clockwork counters. Rubik, Winter Wyvern, EA, almost all of them. I mean, the important thing to know here is Sumail is literally just not, he's not in the bay. He'll throw an acid spray down, but he's just farming ancients. He's got his relic yeah. already, his ratings is on the way, absolutely. They're in a very good spot. And they will take Roche. Pickup. Very good for Venno to grab Aegis, just because he is very vulnerable, and he has to walk into melee range to get a good ultimate off. Not that he's going to skill that. Doesn't need it. He'll get it eventually. Hookshot misses bottom. Ooh. TP just came through from Swindles to get out in time. Uh, not quite there for Universe, but they'll continue to farm up. Meanwhile, top lane, a couple of heroes going in. Crit behind the tower. Moves trying to farm up. Rather quiet game from the Slardar. Trying to get to his Blink Dagger. He's getting close. 1,500 gold currently. Speaking of Blink Dagger, cancels almost there at 1,900. So some big items coming up for the Flex City in the next couple minutes if they can stay alive. Could be really huge. If he gets good RP off and then PA jumps in with Blink Strike, that could potentially win them the whole early skirmish. Uh, he goes for headdress, gonna be a blads on PA. Yeah, I was Not actually just about to ask unexpected, that. Unexpected, but 
Um, Z Freak also passing up one skill point in the no field. Um, a little questionable, maybe, but he does have a better telekinesis as a result. They need to start fighting, though. It's super important. Justin has farm, but it's not a stupid amount. He only got 61 last hits at the and the radiance is already up. Like, if EG just group as five right now and take a fight, there's a hard, like, a really high chance that EG just crushes it. Telekinesis is built fine. Sumail, he does have his chemical rage. He popped it early. Z Freak will steal it, so he's got that going for him. He actually popped it himself. Meanwhile, Justin getting chased down by Universe. Hook shot up in two Sun seconds. Both try to fight this unstable concoction. The Wyvern will get caught. There's going to be usage of the cold embrace to keep himself alive. Z Freak now the hook shot. They will find Cancel. He'll skewer his way out. Universe under the tree line. RTC is here as well. RP, it's going to be under two, but he has to run away. There's no follow up damage. Everyone else is already TPing out. Sumail on the run. He's got unstable concoction. He's in room to use it. He will, and that will be the kill. Sumail gets a double for himself with already 1500 gold in the bank after just getting that radiance two dead on the side of complexity eg's the the way they played the early game was just so effective like they they did aggressive dual lanes and their dual lanes were arguably better than what cole had um, they pressured all of the lanes with lane advantage and because of this cole's timing has now become the same lineup as where eg was strong like when they finally started grouping to take a fight eg already had a radiance it makes it so difficult for them to win the game just feels like there's nothing they could do. They're finally getting up their level sixes on their supports. They they were highly under leveled. The experience obviously going advantage of EG. You already talked about Sumail at great length. Arteezy literally just got his ultimate. He just skilled it at level 11. And it looks like they're going to keep going. They've popped the veil. Justin's going to use the Phantom Strike. Just narrowly avoids the Venom Scale, which Z Freak steals. But there's really no contention at this tier two tower. This push is going to be successful one way or the other. It's just so hard for them to cross the. Uh... And mostly heroes are melee actually, so even killing the plague wards in the first place is very difficult. Oh, uh, shot. Great. He found Z Freak. There's the poison of Only hits onto the Rubik, I believe, but more than enough. He does get Cold Embrace. There's the Winter's Curse coming out only onto one, and it's the Venomancer. He's fine. He still has the Aegis, too. Easy pickoff. Not really much complexity could have done there. And uh, EG are just going to back out. It was a good try from the Swindles. If they would have caught the Clockwork there, it would have kept the Rubik alive, but. Just a little bit too much damage. I'm actually not sure that the Cold Embrace was even good there. Because Rubik still had Alchemist ulti up. He was regenerating a lot of HP, so it might have been better if he didn't get Cold Embrace up there. Ooh. Justin was getting spotted by Zai, but instead it looks like there's going to be something happening mid. A couple TPs in, Arteezy damages up. Moo does have his 4 staff now, so they have some more mobility, but they have to find one of the best team fights with a ton of good ultimates coming out from complexity i feel like to get them back into this game yeah the force is a great idea though because there's so many plague wards those can stop your blink dagger so instead he goes for the item that will for sure allow him to initiate I like the choice only needs to get some kills because eg's completely running away with this game 15 certainly are. advantage oh my god they yeah that have, is like, a lot of gold they actually have twice as much money as EG does. 10,000, dear God. Telekinesis, they'll find Venomancer. He still has the Aegis. No Poison Nova, but he pretty much just solo killed Swindle Balance without any issue whatsoever with the Venomous Gale on Plague Wards. And that was pretty easy. Moo's going to use the Slytherin Crush on Universe. Hookshot went on to Moo, but there's no follow-up. And RTZ that. following up with a great item as well, grabbing a Plate Mail on top of his Veil. So all of the armor... Minus armor that Cole's supposed to be using to win fights is being even more countered. It's the problem with having one dimensional damage sources. Z Freak yeah. can steal Plague Wards, though. That's a huge. No, he actually oh, he got Gale. So he used Gale right as he stole. Oh, Z Freak is not happy about that. That's rough. It's actually just super unlucky. You know, than that. He might have the TP here. Yeah, he will have to, though. Pretty close. If, you, if, you, if you're able to get Plague Wards from a Veno as a Rubik, it's actually an amazing counter. Just because it gets the Plague Wards get the Poison Sting and the uh, Plague Wards. So it's really like you're getting 8 skill points instead of 1. Really effective, but he wasn't able to steal it there just by happenstance. Just happened to use Gale there. Maybe next time, but for now. Complexity have actually invaded the dire jungle. There's not really any safe place for them to farm, so they'll do it in the enemy jungle as best as possible. EG will continue to pressure. They just took a tier 1 tower mid. They'll put the pressure on the tier 2 tower bottom, which they shouldn't have any issue with. Arteezy, luckily for Complexity, has lost the Aegis, but that's, that's I don't know. only a matter of time, right? <laughs> Maybe they can kill him, but that's an Octarine core. Okay, Alchemist is extraordinarily farmed. Dear God. I just, I, I don't know. 
I don't know what you do here. He, Justin's going to kill Crit. Oh, the Blinding Light. Maybe not. Crit might actually live. The Mana Leak is on him as well. Justin's got a lot of trouble. The TP's coming through Universe. He's got Hookshot. Is he going to find it? He's got Flare ready to go to get some vision. Justin, now Hookshot. Universe will catch him. He does get out, though, with the Force Staff. Moo was there in time. Three and Crush. They might actually keep him alive here and save him. Illuminate will come through. Now Cancel gets hit by it. The Poison Nova. Z-Freak again soloed by that freaking Poison Nova. Leave me alone, RTZ. The Gale will come out. On to two. There's the amp damage, but he has that plate mail. And here comes Sumail. The Octarine Core Swindles is like, dear God, someone help me. And the magic damage, yeah, you're done. Three dead on the map for complexity. It is a slaughter for EG yet again. It was a big attempt at a skirmisher that got the Caudal below and upset and lost all of his mana at the start of the fight. And that meant that he wasn't able to contribute when it looked like the right time to turn around. So if Alchemist just didn't show up, maybe they get a kill there. But that's just unrealistic. I think it's okay that Cole tried for that. They have to get some kills here. They're so far behind in net worth that if they get any kills at all, they're going to get a massive gold swing back in their favor. I mean, even for the support, it's going to be like 1k or something ridiculous at this point just because of how farmed everyone is. Maybe not for the, the supports, but like for especially if you can kill Arteezy or Sumail, that is an insane yes. amount of gold that you're going to be getting. So they're going to get a ridiculous amount. Arteezy going for a Lotus Orb, actually. Pretty cool choice. He can remove uh, Amplify damage from either himself or an ally. And it gives them HP and mana regen. They, they have an Ags on crit right now. That's... Okay, that's actually his too. He bought that one. Yeah, he bought that. That's Sumail impressive. is farming his first. It'll probably be for Arteezy, which is uh, why his build looks so weird. It's fine that he gets Lotus Orb then because he will be getting an Ags. From... If Arteezy is able to hit like a more than one person, more than a Z-Freak Poison Nova, pretty sure everyone just dies if he has an Ag and Scepter at this point in the game. Yeah, definitely. If you can get on top of um, the only other person I'd maybe give this to is uh, Triant instead, because it gives such godly map control. That's Soul a little kill. Starter. Sumail just yeah. ran at him. That's unbelievable. Ooh, 21,000 net worth, 11,000 above Arteezy, and then even more so above that of Cancel. Who's looking for crit? The haste rune is there. TP's are coming. Crit, they will actually try to save him. Blinding light comes out. Cancel knows he has to leave. Hookshot misses from Universe. Now Swindle will come in. He actually gets off the Winter's Curse, but it's a crit hitting a clockwork. Uh, it's not going to do that much damage, unfortunately. Flare will come out. Universe Force Staff catches out Swindle Melons. He has the cold, or excuse me, the, yeah, the cold embrace, but he still will fall to illuminate as it blasts through the back of his head. Cancel forces himself away and blinks down to the low ground tp will come through no way they can chase him without hook shot he'll stay alive and get out but now mid lane there's more action happening as sumail will take down z freak again this monstrous alchemist just running at everyone cancel will take the unstable concoction no fall up though sumail knows how slippery cancel can be and right now he's focused on farming and taking this tier two tower down i mean they they have yeah he actually did get the axe the treon it's a pretty safe decision here just because of the uh, vision advantage it's going to give them. I don't think they would even have to go for the Veno Eggs. Like, great for team fighting, but that's not the issue right now. They're just completely beating Cole as it is. Ooh, he was, was he had, like, no mana. If he had that blinding light a half second earlier, that TP's canceled and he's dead. Yeah. Well, Force, cancel, able to get out with this his own Force Staff. They're kind of spread out. And they are going to find a Slytherin Crush. They have the root coming out, using that ultimate coming out from. Protector, unstable concoction, cold embrace is there, lift up, they have chemical rage still, plenty of damage from Sumail, a couple of shots, and this is a dead move. Poison Nova comes out, great RP, but he's already low, the Poison Sting and the Poison Nova taking him down, and Sumail running over everybody, another unstable concoction, the Poison Nova killing just about everybody in this game. Justin gets here a bit too late, has the Poison Sting on him, he's got Phantom Strike if he needs to get away, but with four dead... They are just losing more and more as this game progresses. 16 to 3 yeah. at 21 minutes in with 25,000 and dipping down to 30,000 going the way VG. And and the team fight advantage that the Dire team has is just getting worse and worse. Uh, Eyes in the Force there with the Overgrowth just did a massive amount of damage just to start the fight. And we haven't even seen any impact from, from uh, Universe actually. He keeps missing his hook shots, but it doesn't even matter. They just have so much damage and so many survivability items and skills that Cole can't kill anybody on the team. Unless it's like three versus one hero. It's not looking great. That's pretty it's much really all I can not. say about that. The minimum they'd have to get a gem right now so they can start dewarding the eyes in the forest. Like, Treant's just going to accelerate. He's going to get free farm. He's going to be able to just overgrowth creep waves and neutral camps and things like that. I mean, EG can take this as slow as they want. Complexity, they know they have to get yeah. something done. They are The smoke is broken. They dropped the sentries. Eyes already out of there. All you eyes in the forest again. They're in the tree line, but nobody's over there, unfortunately, for complexity. Sorry, guys. 
your tree and protector is mid lane right now. I wonder <sighs> if this would have been very different if Cole did a safe tri lane instead of going for an ag or a dual lane aggro. I mean, they did get both camps blocked level, and that was absolutely massive. At know. least they have Deso on PA. They could... Yeah, they, they have some extra damage now. Uh, with a good RP, good Winner's Curse, they have the utility to get back into this game with some good team fight. But it's just it's so far behind that you have to get like three, four, or five of those fights in order to even this like, Maybe. game up. I mean, every, every kill you get, when somebody has uh, over double your net worth, I just want to see one hero die because I want to see how much gold give. It's going to be a stupid amount, especially if it's somebody like Alchemist. Mm -hmm. He actually, does he have as much net worth as the whole enemy team? Uh, uh, pretty that's close. close. Only 3k it, gold he actually short. has, yes, I think. Kind of insane. And he's already given an Ags away, by the way. So I think that goes out of his net worth. So he definitely has farmed more gold than all of Complexity has this game. Yeah. Yeah, that's just how this game's gone. I don't know. There's really not much else to talk about. It's been a slaughter. <laughs> Telekinesis, Zai is just, he doesn't care. He's completely tanky. He's got a Solar Crest. Sumail is hitting the tower. They don't really give a damn. Arteezy is bodyguarding. He has a Lotus Orb on him right now. They cannot do anything. Justin's already at like half HP. Slayfling Dagger is going to hit Justin and slow him down as well. Sumail is going to go for an unstable concoction. We'll turn his attention towards Swindles. The Cold Embrace will come out. I don't see you surviving here, Swindles. I hate to say it. He dies pretty much instantly. And that's going to be an RP, at least coming up to cancel. Can they push him back far enough here? He's almost inside the well, but unfortunately, cancel. It wasn't enough. Telekinesis is on the wrong side. Sumail's walking in anyways. He doesn't care. It doesn't matter. Moon's going to go down. GG's finally called. Sumail, they lose the Sages. But everybody is literally dying in the well. I. All right, Z Freak, yeah, you're just dead. Sorry, buddy. We're not going to get to see anybody on EG die there. Their draft was just very strong. The uh, the double camp lock at the start of the game was instrumental there. Cole did not react to it the correct way, and because of that, they weren't able to try lane. The uh, Rubik was consistently under level. They had that one beautiful gank mid against Sumail, but that was really the only good thing they had going for them. Their, their lineup was just 